Hello everyone, uh, my name is Justin Perkins and I bring you greetings from the San Antonio International Airport uh, where it's been a heck of a day but I'm here excited to tell you guys about uh, my innovative company, um, what, what drew me to this company, my passions about this company, um, and what this company is doing now. But most importantly, what this country, what this company is going to be doing in the very near future. Excuse my red eyes. Haven't slept since five o'clock this morning, but let's get to it. <clears throat> so the company that I'm going to be briefing you guys on today is going to be the company known as SoundCloud. Now, uh, the group asked you know us to uh, elaborate on why we uh, picked the company or the industry that we chose and how it particularly connected to our calling. And so um, I'll just start by saying that music has always been my passion. Um, I started out in music in the first grade when I started learning how to play the saxophone. And then in the second grade, uh, my entire second grade, you know, class uh, had to learn how to play recorders, you know, the little piccolos, if you will. Um, matriculated from there to learn how to play the piano in the fourth grade. Uh, I learned how to play the drums. Uh, which I played percussion later on in high school. But long story uh, short, you know, music has always been my passion. Since then, I've more so, um, I more so have been involved in composing, uh, producing, and writing uh, music for myself and other artists. And so SoundCloud is a very familiar tool that I've used myself personally um, to familiarize myself with the music of other artists as well as to promote um, music of my own. And so <clears throat> that, you know, ties my passion in with music and how uh, the innovative company of SoundCloud uh, drew me to do more research on it. <clears throat> so, you know, that's a little bit about why I picked the company um, and why it connected to my calling. Uh, so what's, what is SoundCloud doing today? Well, the company uh, SoundCloud itself is growing daily, you know, and uh, when you look at um, streaming, music streaming companies, SoundCloud has undoubtedly transformed itself from a simple disposition company to one of the single uh, most largest audio platforms in the world. Um, in fact, it's the preferred place for streaming music of over 175 million uh, unique customers and so we want to be very mindful that uh, we pay attention to the growth the daily growth of SoundCloud and what they're doing uh, I chose the innovative engine known as SoundCloud um, because I uh, acknowledge the way and I, I appreciate the way they allow you to market yourself personally as an artist and not only that they allow you to network with other uh, individuals who are doing the same thing and maybe even on a greater scale and so um, I have been fortunate to have been on this earth long enough to to witness the evolution of how we engage in music you know uh, I grew up on the cassettes um, my dad had vinyls Every, all the music that we listened to was on vinyl or albums where you you know, record players, you had to walk lightly through the house to keep from skipping it. Or, you know, um, then it went from there to cassettes, from cassettes to uh, CDs, Walkmans, um, to now uh, very little people even own any of those things. All music is listening to, listened to pretty much through streaming or online or music downloads. And so uh, with that being the case, I appreciate the evolution of uh, of the music engaging industry, and then not only that, um, I, I see the importance and the need for what SoundCloud is bringing to that industry today. So, what comes next for the future of SoundCloud? Well, as we all know, um, the market of SoundCloud, the the market that SoundCloud is in, is a very competitive market. And then you have uh, other companies, for example, um, Jay-Z's title company is a music streaming company. Companies like YouTube, um, or other competitors, Pandora, or other competitors whereby music streaming is uh, its primary focus. 
So with it being so apparent that the past decade has changed the way that we engage in music, um, it still remains the primary <clears throat> format for music abroad. They're still using some of the primary sources like uh, like CDs, uh, purchasing albums and record players in the UK and abroad. So I think I think the primary objective for SoundCloud in the future is to somewhat narrow the gap between artists and consumer interaction in order to allow artists to be able to connect and engage with their consumer base and allow consumers to be able to engage with artists uh, simultaneously and as effortlessly as uh, sending a Facebook message or a post on Facebook. And so I, I anticipate in the very near future that SoundCloud will emerge as one of the leading um, music interaction websites or sources and um, I just look forward to taking full advantage of all the benefits and assets that SoundCloud provides. Hey, thank you guys for listening and I look to see each and every one of you in the very near future. Take care.